On today's video, we discuss, are we in the housing bubble? What's going on? I'm Sergio Top Real Estate. On today's video, we're going to talk, are we in a housing bubble? You know, I've had buyers tell me for the last four years, hey, I'm just going to wait until the market goes down. I'm going to wait for this bubble to crash. We have to be at our peak. And it just keeps going up and up and up. Obviously, none of us knew 2020 was going to happen. And we never knew that we were going to see a 20% increase in pricing. Obviously, that was a big reason why we dropped rates so low. No inventory has shot housing through the ceiling. But now we're starting to get maybe back to a normal market. Like I said, in previous videos, we're seeing about the 5 to 8% return or five to eight percent increase in prices this year but are we in a housing bubble and there's something we need to worry about moving forward so we're going to break down numbers on the board for you today to let you know why we think we're not in a housing bubble and what you should do all right let's break down the numbers on why we were in a bubble before and why we're not in a bubble now so average sale price in january 2008 was 354 in riverside california about a year later we saw a 58 percent drop down to 193. it's a massive drop that everyone thinks is going to happen now just because prices are so high which i think is so funny because price Prices were not even half of what they are now and people didn't see a crash coming, but now because prices are so much higher, a crash has to come. The bigger reason why we saw a crash back then is what? More people were getting loans they didn't deserve. Two, everyone just kept refining their properties because they thought, oh, I'll just refi so I can pay for all this stuff. I'll just refi because bankers are telling them you can just refi. They had adjustable rate loans that we don't really see now. Um, so we saw a massive amount of people in housing. They had nothing in those homes. They had like 0% or 3.5% down, like no money into it, so they did not walk away. Right now, stats are showing that over half of the people that own homes have at least 50% equity over their loan amount. So they have so much cash in their homes, they're not gonna just walk away like we saw back then. So we saw a massive price drop for two reasons. One, rates jumped up to 4.88. We're not even at the fours yet. I mean, obviously, if you have bad credit, things like that, you'll be in the fours, but right now we're, we're below fours right now. So rates are lower than they used to be. Then the biggest thing was is that in May of 09, we had 2,100 homes on the market. Just in Riverside, that's crazy. 2,100 homes just in Riverside. And now today, I looked on the MLS today, we only have 174 houses on the market. So until this number gets somewhat close to this number, because our average used to be around 800, so we're so below average. So we need to see if we are gonna see a housing crash happen again. We're gonna see this number have to get to at least that number, at least, because this was when it was actually on the downside. There was actually over 4,000 houses on the market in 2008. And then we're gonna see rates keep going up. Are those two things gonna happen? Yeah, maybe rates are gonna go up, but we just have, we see no reason why all of a sudden the supply of homes is gonna get from 175 right now to over 2,000 in the next year. It's just not gonna happen. We can't build enough. We don't, uh, no one's gonna let their homes go away for, uh, you know, foreclosure short sale because they have so much equity in them. And we have, you know, 900,000 people nationwide that are in forbearance right now. So the odds of us seeing a massive amount of supply hit the market is very unlikely. And rates, yeah, they're probably gonna go up. I don't know if they're gonna get to 4.88, but we are gonna see rates going up. Rates going up is just gonna control prices not to do 20% again like we did last year. That's why we're only gonna see about five to eight because rates are gonna go up. That's gonna control pricing and actually Actually, what people don't realize rates going up is a good thing because it means our economy is doing wrong or doing well and we need to control pricing going up so that's what rates are going to go up it's just going to control prices a little bit remember guys we're going to see five to eight percent this year and then next year maybe we see another five percent so even if there's a price correction in three years four years that's 10 15 percent you're basically going to be paying what you're paying right now so remember, we buy and sell homes to solve problems. So currently, if you're waiting for a crash to happen, it's not coming, so stop thinking about that. And if you wanna get into your home right now, it's better to get in now than later, because you're gonna probably, even after a price correction, you'll probably be paying what you're paying now than what you'll pay in three years. Hopefully this video helps. Make sure you comment, share, and like, and until next time, peace.